Thank you for joining us for another Series NRX Accessory Tutorial video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install and remove a Ronus Key Lock. A Ronus Key Lock is an additional safety locking feature that provides controlled operation of the circuit breaker. The inner lock secures the breaker in the off position, and without a key, the breaker cannot be turned on. Disclaimer: Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, Always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. To install a Ronis key lock, you will need all of the following tools and parts. One, number two Phillips head screwdriver, one pair of pliers, one one inch hole saw, one hand drill, one key lock kit which is ordered from Eaton and includes the following, one self adhesive external protective ring, one metal mounting bracket, two fiber retaining washers, two M3 by 5 millimeter mounting screws, one large locking nut, one key lock lever, one small locking nut, the Ronis key lock cylinder, number RBAGEL3000 and the Protec key are not included in the kit and must be ordered directly from Ronus. In this section we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover of the circuit breaker and how to move the secondary mounting bracket. For this demonstration we will use a three pole IEC draw out circuit breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. If you have a three-pole breaker, you must remove the four non-captive screws with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Make sure you save the screws for reinstallation. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. The secondary mounting bracket, which is located at the top of the breaker, must be loosened in order to access the key lock mounting location. To do this, you must locate the three screws that hold the mounting bracket in place and remove all three of them with a number two Phillips head screwdriver. You do not need to remove any wires or connectors in order to move the secondary mounting bracket. In this section, we will demonstrate how to construct the key lock assembly, install the key lock, punch a hole in the front cover, and reattach the front cover. First, slide the key lock into the mounting bracket. Secure the key lock in place with the large locking nut by firmly tightening the nut against the back of the mounting bracket. Now that the key lock is secured to the mounting bracket, attach the lock lever to it with the small locking nut those supplied with the kit. Ensure that the small locking nut is firmly tightened. We've removed the front cover, shifted the secondary mounting bracket, and assembled the key lock. The last phase of this process involves mounting the key lock assembly to the circuit breaker and ensuring that it is functional. Locate the mounting location, 
It is right below the secondary mounting bracket. There are two threaded mounting holes in the mounting tab. Using the two mounting screws and two fiber retaining washers, screw the keylock assembly halfway into the mounting location and then stop. Before firmly securing the assembly, use a pair of pliers to pull the plastic push button plate out so the bracket's sheet metal tab slides in behind it. Once the metal tab is behind the push button tab, you can finish tightening the mounting screws. Reattach the secondary mounting bracket by tightening the three screws you loosened earlier. In order to create a hole in the cover, you need a 1 inch hole saw and a hand drill. Drill the hole in the cover using the drill point that's on the back of the cover as a reference point. Once the hole has been drilled, make certain that all pieces and or particles are removed from the inside of the hole before proceeding. The final step is to attach the external adhesive ring to the breaker. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle, then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you removed earlier. Make sure that you secure all the screws you previously removed. In this section, we will perform a functional test. To begin, press the red button down while rotating the key counterclockwise. Next, remove the key and charge the breaker. Once the breaker is charged, try to push the green push to close button. The breaker should not close. Next, insert the key and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Press the green button again. This time it should work. In this section, we will demonstrate how to properly remove the Ronus key lock from the series NRX breaker. First, remove the cover and loosen the secondary mounting bracket. We demonstrated these processes earlier in the video. Next, use a number two Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the two mounting screws, then remove the mounting bracket and key lock from the mounting location.
This completes the Ronis Key Lock tutorial. For additional tutorials and information on Eaton Series NRX circuit breakers, please visit us at eaton.com slash series NRX. For questions or further support, please contact your local Eaton sales representative.